I see when this happens in these states that harden their heart toward life and promote the shedding of innocent blood, I see this allowing their cup of iniquity to get full. It's going to allow the Lord to, to just let this increase and, and when the cup of iniquity is full, Genesis 14, 15, then the judgment of the Lord could come. He could not give Canaan to Abraham until the iniquity of the Amorites was complete. But once it was complete, he could take it from them and give it to another. What does that judgment look like? It says, here's an interesting thought that I had. What if God's judgment, for example, to California and the government there in California, who is already, they are already making plans to become one of the abortion strongholds of the nation. What if God's judgment, when that cup of iniquity is full, is not California falling into the ocean, but the government of California falling? And God being able to completely overthrow a wicked system and government and not destroy millions of people, but deliver and redeem millions of people. What if his judgment is revival? Judging the strongholds of darkness delivering people and saving millions of them. See, I, I think their, their, their decisions and allowing some of this to continue is what God is going to use to overthrow their wicked schemes. That's kingdom. It's also Calvary. And it's also pictured of the Exodus. He's going to judge the evil while he redeems the people. I think this is coming to wicked cities in America. I want to say to you that God's anger against some of these wicked cities is not anger at all the people in those cities. But he is coming to judge the evil, the wicked systems. And this is where the apostolic strategies are going to have to come in. Because these people in these cities are going to start getting saved. Signs and wonders are coming, revival is coming, and there's going to have to be a level of wisdom in the church to know how to come on and build a, a spiritual structure that helps change these cities and disciple tens of thousands of people very quickly. And I'm going to say one more thing before I transition this or let Clay jump in or we could start pray, pray for a few minutes. But there is, man, I feel this. There is a revival coming to the Latino, Hispanic community in this nation that will be fierce. The power, the fire, the move of God will be wonderfully strong. It will be incredibly disruptive and strong in a wonderful way. I do not know what that looks like, but I tell you right now, that is coming. I just heard the Lord say, and when this revival comes out of the Latino community, they're going to bring with this revival familia. And God said, I'm going to begin to heal the families of this nation out of what they carry. For I'm about to release a fire 
a red hot chili fire, I hear the Lord saying, wow. among them. That's awesome. And the Lord said, it's going to be the seasoning of the future in this nation, says the Lord. Man. For I shall take the passion that they will carry, and I will put, walk them among the people of this nation, and they will be the fire that will come to this nation. And as this fire comes down, watch and see the healing of family. For even it is this weekend, it's a time we celebrate fathers. The Lord said, I am truly turning the hearts of the fathers back to the children. But I'll use the Latino community to cause this to go into overdrive, mm. says the Lord. Wow. Stand up. Let's just pray into that for, for a minute or two. No. Yeah, just pray in the spirit for a minute. Lord, we just aim these. You keep praying in the Spirit, but, but I'm going to declare some things. Lord, we just release these missiles now toward the Hispanic, Latino community of America. Lord, all throughout our nation, we just say, bring alignment, bring the outpouring that causes them to become the incredible stronghold you intend for them to be. Revival flowing <clears throat> from their congregations, their communities, their families, until, Lord, it becomes something that leavens a nation with this familia anointing, with this flavor, this flavoring you want to do. We release it. We release revival into these communities. But we release the adjusting of the spine in our nation. We say that when Roe is announced, when this decision is announced and Roe is overturned, that there will be this pushing of the spine back into alignment that will cause great upheaval, great life, great order, great uh, uh, opening of portals, but also great warfare against darkness. We, we say that Lord, as darkness is exposed... When this happens, let the cups of iniquity fill quickly. May they make decisions that expose who they really are. May the utter depravity of their hearts and minds, those that have hardened themselves against you and against life and against the babies, may it be completely exposed for what it is, a bloodthirsty cry of demons. And Lord, as that cup fills... You can then judge these evil systems with the stratia, the strategies of warfare coming from apostolic minds in the church and in government, whether those in government even know that's what it is. Let it be apostolic wisdom flowing that causes a rebuilding strategy in America that is laced with kingdom order, authority, and life. Kingdom, authority, order, and life flowing through church and government. Kingdom, authority, order, and life flowing from church and government into the nation and nations of the earth. We call the apostolic leaders of America, not those who call themselves, not just, not those, I'm not talking about people, everybody that's named an apostle. I'm talking about people, Lord, that you have truly raised up with apostolic grace and gifting. That they would begin to sense now and understand that they have to shift. That they have to go to another level of hearing, thinking, with stratia, apostolic warfare, apostolic strategy laced warfare, apostolic strategy laced warfare, apostology, apostolic strategy, maybe I just coined a new word, apostology. Apostolic strategy, not just for warfare, but for building and rebuilding. So we, 
ask for an infusion of that into their spiritual minds that they will be impacted with your thoughts your today word your words from the past that are, na- that are for now that they would be infused with that through, through spirit led thinking spirit birthed thinking that's what I was looking for spirit birthed thinking and from dreams and from visions and from even theology that has not been fully understood until now so that the scriptures come alive and new layers of meaning come forth from your words that begin to release what was yesterday a mystery but it is now a revelation for today yesterday's mystery that is today's revelation so we release that into the apostolic church now we we release it into apostolic government now we release it into apostolic educators now We say that which has been done over 50 years in our nation will not take 50 years to undo and and recover from. That a breathing of God's ability to do it quickly, yet with strength, will take place. For I hear the Lord saying, the foundation has not been destroyed. So we'll not take the time needed to build a new foundation There have been parts of the structure destroyed, but not the foundation. So I will be able to do some things very quickly and restore them very quickly, the Lord says. So we call forth the plans. We say, turn them right side up so they can be read clearly. And apostolic leaders can say, I see it now. It all makes sense now. I know how to do this.